I feel a little on the fence about dunking a whole sandwich in sauce, but we'll see, maybe I can be converted. I am in Chicago at Al's number one Italian beef. Today I'm gonna to be working here. I'm gonna be making a sandwich. I'm gonna be roasting the beef. I'm gonna be slicing the beef. I might dunk a sandwich in jus. I'm gonna be making jardinera. I'm doing it all. Hey, Chris. Hey, Cody, how's it going? Good, how you doing? Good, good. What should I know about the restaurant, about the sandwich? Like My uncle, Al, which the place is named after, after he got out of uh, stay in jail for a while, they opened up this beef stand. It was a front for a bookie place. <laughs> you guys still have any of that old spirit going on here? Or? Oh, not no more. No. <laughs> what does it take to get on the wall? A letter. <laughs> All right. They're obviously famous people, as you All see, right. Muhammad Ali, mayors. Pretty my important parents. people. To yeah. All right, I'm ready to start. Let's do it. This is the first thing we're going to do. We use a top sirloin butt. We've got two pieces here. They're roughly about 15 pounds All each. Right. And I have a spice pack that's created by my grandfather back in 1917. And we still continue the same recipe. Can you tell me what's in it? No. Any of it? So I got this. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> so you can see the seasoning pack here. Can I guess a little bit? Sure. Fennel. Cumin. There's a lot of stuff in there. Coriander. There's 17 different spices. Mustard You're seed. You're gonna have a good time guessing. Paprika. <laughs> Celery seed. Uh, bay leaf, probably. What we're gonna do, Cody, is introduce it to our pan. All right, nice to meet you. Like that. All spice. I gotta put the garlic in it also. So. Now we're gonna get that pail of water there, and I'm gonna introduce a little bit of that to here. Nice. I want you to mix it in real good. All right, okay. I can do that. Absolutely. Now Gorgeous. we're gonna introduce the meat to this. This is a top sirloin butt. The reason we use the butt is uh. because this muscle, when I cut it so thin, it's still gonna hold together. Uh. It won't fall apart or shred. And Oscar's gonna be your trainer and your boss. Nice. So Oscar, you've been working here for 20? What, 23, 24, 24 years. 24 years. What's your favorite part of, of your boss and what's your least favorite part of your boss? Later part he doesn't have. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna open the middle a little bit. All right. And then he's gonna slice it in there. It cooks through and through. Like I took, we want it well done, uh. piece of meat. And he's gonna oh, introduce it to this. Nice. Over here. Right here? Just yes. like in the middle, I guess? Yep. Cool. Right there. there you go. Yeah? Good. Fat side down? Yes. Cool. All right. Give it a little flip. There you go. The total cooking time is three and a half hours. So we're gonna good? add a little more water now. All right, cool. And that's it. That's it. And we, we set it at 450. So we're done with this process. This has been cooking for three and a half hours. Three and a half hours, there. Right. And what we're gonna do, he's gonna pull out a piece. Now, I don't want you to get burned, so keep an eye on Oscar, how he does it, and then you're gonna turn it around and introduce it to that. All right, Cody, All now right. it's your turn. Give it a good stab. Give it a good stab All in right. there, grab it. stab you know, on this so side here. There you go. If you drop it, you get a deduction in pay. All right, how much are you paying me again? Uh, it's not, <laughs> too much. <laughs> too much, yeah. <laughs> I did get myself on the thing, ah. so there you go. Pretty good. Right? Yeah, I know. It's not as good as Yeah, I know. Then we're going to take the pan uh -huh. and we're going to strain it. It's right. a little heavy now. Yeah. Be careful. There you go. Got it. It's yeah. not only heavy, but it's hot. Heavy and hot. Just okay. like me. All right. Go, go right in there. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everything. Not Every so bad. little bit. It smells nice. So there's like, I'm seeing mustard seeds. Is there fennel? Cumin, maybe? Gonna learn all their secret spices here. This is gonna be cooled down, and then when it gets down to like a room temperature, we're gonna put it in the refrigerator for 24 hours. So, cool. so the beef's been in for 24 hours. 24 hours right. now. It gets down to about 38 degrees, which is slicing temperature. Nice. See, it's a little heavy. That's all right. All right. Got the beef. So this looks a lot different than when we pulled it out. You'll feel it's, it's hard. Really, yes, it's hard. So we can trim. Yeah. You don't want to trim it when it's soft. You right, start like digging into the meat. Yeah, and, you yeah, know, yeah. it's a little rougher. All right, cool. So I'm we're going to get rid of all the fat and nerve. Anything that you think you would see the nerve Yeah, right you there. don't want that. So at work, I sometimes, depending on what I work, will butcher, you know, whole lambs and 
pork loins. So you're experienced with me. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, okay, a little bit. Good. Yeah. So I wonder why you're coming on so good. So this is kind of this is the this engine. This slicer of the is probably about seventy years old. I call it my Frankenstein because we keep putting it back together. Keep working again. on it. It looks kind of like a torture device. Yeah, it is. If you have got to work with it all day. Oscar's going to show you how this mechanism works. Great. It's going to come out with small pieces at first. Another way we like to test it, you put it on your tongue. And if the juice of your tongue goes through it, you know it's... See what I'm talking about? Uh-huh. You gotta watch them over here. So make sure it's slice coming right. If you have any nerves, you gotta stop the machine. Are you guys feeling nervous with me so close well, to the machine? Well, I want you to be careful with that blade. Yeah, I'm just... Because it has no pity on you. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> has anyone cut themselves? It's a rotating razor blade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the beef that's ready to go out front. Cool. What we're going to do is, because it's cold... Yeah. We're going to introduce it to our hot juice here, Great. gravy. This is the sauce that we strained. Right. Nice. So what we're going to do is introduce this cold product, uh -huh. let it get up to the temperature, and 140 bring it out degrees, yeah. and then bring it out there. Then they don't change temperatures in our pan. Sure, that makes sense. Yeah. And then we're gonna pour some juice in there afterwards. You did a good job there, Cody. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Cody, so this is our jardinier. You keep it in this is trash can. This is the Italian Tupperware. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> what makes jardinera jardinera? Jardinier in Italian means vegetables in a garden. It's like a Chicago item. Everybody makes their own way. This is made for Italian beef. This, this is basically celery celery and spices. We have a seasoning pack for this also. Oh, nice. Cool. This is roughly about six pounds. It'll make 30 gallons with the celery. First so of all, Oscar's going to help us again. Oh, Oscar, it seems like you're the engine behind this restaurant. He's your trainer. Right, right, right. You're going to put about five stalks into this. Beautiful. Is that 20? Yeah, set up for the time. The numbers are oh, up. look at that. It's amazing. It's gonna add the seasoning pack. Now. Cool. And you're gonna add oil to this. Now it'll have to sit for three to four days. We're gonna show you how to make a beef sandwich here. All right, what makes an Italian sandwich, like what unites them? You know? The Italian beef sandwich is when I put the beef in here uh -huh. and it blends, it, all the flavors come together. Yeah. I'm seeing cheese whiz over there. Yeah. So I'm seeing well, peppers. Got... I'm seeing sliced beef. Like, we what's got... the difference between an Italian beef, Philly cheesesteak, French dip? Philly cheesesteak, you got to grill. You throw your steak on there, you chop it up, throw some cheese whiz on it, scoop it up, and hand it to the guy. It's called frying. This is, <laughs> takes three and a half hours. Right. Cooled, separated from its juice. Then we blend it all back together after slicing it to paper thin. And that's called cooking. That's definitely <laughs> called cooking. So what kind of bread is this? Well, the What's... French bread that we use is very dense. Uh -huh. It holds together. When you get a lot of juice on it, it's not going to fall apart on it. It's made here in Chicago. So I see you got a pretty f***ed up fork here. What's the deal with this? This is L's fork. Did you f*** these forks up yourself? <laughs> yes, I did. Yeah. You're going to move it around a little bit get like this. Get a nice this. little stir. Three decent so, scoops. You know, like, right, say, cool. like this. And we're going to add some jardinier to it. It's one big tablespoon. Spread it, unless somebody wants more. Yeah. You want to see me make one? You give me feedback? Well, go ahead. Yeah, there we go. Let's try so it. I got my bread. Let's Gonna get stir a little it up mixer a little root. bit. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah, slap it on. Another one of those. Good. All right, cool. Jordan, there. Nice, healthy. Like that? Get a little, a little bit, bit more. more. Yeah, why not? Okay. Come on, give it to And so. There you go. Now follow it. Gonna... That's good. Yeah, just two? All right, let's go. Beautiful. As long as it ain't dripping all over the place. Yeah. All right. So what do you think? You got that neck? I think I got yeah, it, yeah. I you... Should I start cranking through some mortars or what? What do you got? How many? Just one. Just one. Dip? Dip. All right. Sweet. No, regular beef. That's the big one. Oh. Sweet peppers means no jardinera or no both? No Like this? This kind of peppers? Are you on your phone? We're in the middle of training here. What the hell's going on? That's it. Oh, you want right, to dip? More... Dip, dip. I'm going to grab it. Oh yeah, I got freaking okay, This is super soaked. Great, there you go. Here you are, thank you very much. Thank you. Take it easy. You got a big order here. One regular beef hot. Provolone, sweet peppers. Then you got another regular beef. Two sandwiches. Two sandwiches, this one's dry. And then I got a hot dog. The fries and everything. Whatever All right, cool, sweet. So Cody, Beautiful. you yeah. gotta get the cheese. 
Okay. I feel already that I'm moving slow. Okay. So you. what we're gonna do? Wait a minute. We're gonna put the che cheese, cheese on cheese first, on first okay. because we want it to melt. Do they want a dip? I feel like they said dip. Did you want one dip? Dip it down. No, there you go. Dip it down again. Yeah. Why not? Come on. All right. There you that's go. good. Then you get some jardinera on there. Oh man, it's juicy. That's yes, a juicy boy. Next one's dry. One the same and idea. Provolone here. Gorgeous. Peppers. Sweet on it. All right, let's make a hot dog. You want it up like this? Just White a little light. like like that. Yeah, that's. Oh, there we go. Same thing with this. Well, why is it emerald green? That's the color like the like. You don't want to put too many. Oh. There you go. Yeah, that's cool. And now wrap it. Pinch your napkin. What's the order? I, over? I lost yeah, the ticket. Yeah. I got two sandwiches, a hot dog, and a side of fries. Yeah, there you go. There she is. Woo! So, Cody, how was your day today? <laughs> Did you enjoy it? I enjoyed it, yeah. I liked making the sandwiches. I didn't hear no complaints. Yeah, that's good. So, that's a good sign, huh? I just noticed, you know, there's obviously like all these like cool people that have been here before. Mm -hmm. I just, I thought maybe, you know. Oh, look at that. If you wanted to. I've never been on like a wall before, so I think. Yes. Well, think, you can be... think about it. I'll, I'm happy to sign it or not sign yeah, it. Yeah, sign it. I feel like I'm going to say, Chris, I've never done this before. And I said you're my hero. Okay, I'm this, your hero. With a Less beef in town. Smiley face. Um, Mr. Beef? Mr. No, beef? don't say Mr. Beef. Hell's <laughs> <laughs> beef. All right, yours. And... Cody. That's cool. It looks like I have a Bon Appetit tattoo. You know, I'll be back in a couple of weeks just to make sure you put it up. I might have to put it in the Bar section corner. over there. Yeah. <laughs>